Hi everyone and welcome to morning coffee break. Hope everybody's doing good today. I'm still feeling a little bit a little bit rough. It seems like it's not quite as bad right now. I think it seems like it's worse when it's cold out because that already aggravates my arthritis and stuff. But uh, it's been pretty nice lately, temperature wise. Anyway, it is Sunday, April 28th. Uh, there's clear skies out right now. Currently, it's 65 degrees. Uh, high today is going to be 80. Um, and uh, chance of precipitation, 0%. And winds are at 5 miles per hour. And hold on a second. I've got to check some. Okay. Today, there will be a walk and talk with Kitty. Um, bless her heart, I haven't been able to as much uh, the past few days because... Um, been so busy you know my infusion had to go to different stores and stuff and other things to do around here and uh she's wanting to she's laying right here i can't believe she's not meowing i told her though i said you can't come in here and meow the whole time i'm doing my my video you know and she's being real good right now i'm surprised i looked at her so i'm surprised she's not starting to meow or something what you gonna do She's sitting there staring at me. Okay. Uh, what's for dinner? I'm not really sure. We got some things. I got a big Kroger haul coming up pretty soon. I got some, a couple uh, good, I got a real good deal from Ibotta that was also on, had digital coupons at Kroger. Came out real cheap. And they were some of those family meals, uh, Stouffer family meals. But it was just on they're different types of meatballs. Um, they were supposed to have three kinds, but Kroger must have carried just the only two. So we got I got Swedish meatballs and I got um, Italian style and tomato sauce. And ended up paying like five bucks each for a family meal. So did pretty good. And there was uh, quite a few other deals I got, uh, especially digital. And they also had some, a lot of uh, on the buy five thing you see they got so many things you got to really pay attention to or you won't get get it right but the, if you bought five items they were 99 cents uh all i did was get some soups because for joy the campbell soup uh joy needs some things for when she has them, those teeth pulled out all the bottom teeth and stuff so she's not gonna be able to eat you know anything but soft stuff you know like soup and you know uh, anyway um I think, uh, so I got a, a family, Stouffer's family meal, uh, Salisbury steak, and I think we'll make some mashed potatoes and green beans. Probably what we'll do. I hadn't mentioned it to them. They may want something else uh, that I got. We'll see. Um, I got uh, jokes here. I think they're okay. I didn't read the second one yet, though. Let's see. I'm just... I don't think it's anything bad. <laughs> you got to really watch them though sometimes. <clears throat> a rookie was calling up his station on his pocket radio. <sighs> I'm outside the Plaza Mall, he reported. A man has been robbed. I've got one of them. Which one? asked the operator. <clears throat> the one that was robbed. <laughs> he, didn't get, he didn't get the guy that robbed him. Just the one. Uh a father was buying a, a bass lessons for his son. After the first week, the father asked him what he had learned. The son said, on my first lesson, we learned about the E string. The second week came, and after that, the, the lesson, the father asked what he had learned that week. The son said, on the second lesson, I learned about the A string. The third week came by and his father said to his son, you know, these are expensive lessons. What have you learned this week? The son said, I quit the lessons. I already got a gig. <laughs> I don't think he knows how to play a guitar yet, though. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, I guess this is okay, too. This is from Dave Matthews' band. Um a guy and a girl can be just friends, but at one point or another, they will fall for each other. Maybe temporarily, maybe at the wrong time, maybe too late, or maybe forever. Okay. 
Now, um, I got, uh, I got, to be along with the jokes, I'm going to have to move to uh, Messenger, because that's where I put them. These are, I thought these were kind of funny. Okay. I don't know if I should just put them all up here like this. This first one says, that's right, Scotty, you came from your mama's, mommy's belly. <laughs> oh, I pressed on it. What I do? There they are. Uh, there's that one. <laughs> and then this one says, life is a series of ups and downs. Tell me about it. <laughs> and then lastly, uh, here he comes, always the last one in. <laughs> so anyway, I thought that was those were pretty funny. I think Logan, uh, Logan's friend Angel sent it to him, and then Logan sent them to me. Uh -huh. All right, now where did I have a? I got that done. I had a uh, one picked out here, but it was where the. Uh, that's not it, right there. Okay, I think it was this one. Okay, let's go to the site. This makes my face look kind of light because <laughs> of the, the light. I'm not really that pale. It's from <laughs> Which of the following was a popular TV series of the 20th century? Popular. The Social Network, The Brady Bunch, Boyhood, Brokeback Mountain. Uh, popular TV series. I never even heard of The Social Network. I don't know. Uh, Boyhood. I don't know. The only one that I see in here that was any, you know, that was really popular is The Brady Bunch. Yeah. The Brady Bunch is an American sitcom created by Sherwood Schwartz that aired from September 26, 1969 to March 8, 1974. Everybody knows about the Brady Bunch. We still watch it every now and then. It seems kind of corny now, but it's still fun to watch sometimes. Uh, what sitcom was about a witch named Samantha? I like this picture. It's like old stuff. Let's see something. Uh, I was trying to get the glare out of it. Um, about a witch named Samantha, huh? Mork and Mindy, Good Times, Soap, Bewitched. This is kind of easy for me, I mean. Mork and Mindy, Good Times, Soap, Witch, Bewitched. Huh. Dynamite! <laughs> It's Bewitched. Bewitched, an American television situation comedy that aired on ABC from 1964 to 1972. Quite a while. Frequently receiving high ratings. Ross and Rachel were popular characters in which of these TV series? I don't know what that is. Sneaker heads or something it says. Uh... Okay, Ross and Rachel were popular characters in which these, um, this is us, two and a half men, friends, how I met your mother, oh man, I'm not for sure, Ross and Rachel, well, I don't, I, I never did watch Friends much, I've watched tons of two and a half men, I'm not for sure exactly what this is us is, and I rarely watched How I Met Your Mother, but my guess is How I Met Your Mother. No, it's Friends. I knew if I guessed one, it would be the other. It's Friends. Friends is one of the most popular and iconic television shows in history, and that's largely in part to the great cast, the storylines, and it's easy comedy. That might have been easy for everybody else, but I really didn't. I didn't watch it. I was always working for one thing. I worked all the time, it seemed like. So, so that was, uh, so that, is that one wrong then? I think so that's the third one. Okay, I think so. Okay, next question. 
which of the following TV series is set in New York? Baywatch, Twin Peaks, Sex in the City, Grey's Anatomy. Man, 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 I'm a... I, I, I know we used to watch uh, Grey's Anatomy some in Baywatch. The other two, not really. I'm trying to think uh, which Grey's Anatomy is. I want to say Sex in the City. You might be wrong. No, that's right. Uh, Sex in the City, 1998 to 2004, and Just Like That, 2021 to present. I don't know what the Darren Star mega hit about four women thriving in New York City is just about as New York as you can get. Next question. Which famous actor starred in the series The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Remember Carlton? The dance? I don't know how it went. <laughs> he'd, do his, he'd swing his arms around and they just look goofy. Carlton. Yeah. Uh, Eddie Murphy. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I want you to be my neighbor. <laughs> neighbor. <laughs> You've seen that commercial. That's what I said. Neighbor. <laughs> uh, Robin Williams, Will Smith. <laughs> Eddie Murphy, Arnold, Robin Williams, Will Smith. It's Will Smith. Yeah. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is an American television sitcom created by Andy and Susan Borowitz for NBC. It aired from September 10, 1990 to May 20, 1996. And it stars Will Smith as, you know. In which of these TV series, most of the characters are doctors? In which of these TV series? The Bear. Dawson's Creek. Chicago Hope. Law and Order. The Bear. Dawson's Creek. I really hadn't watched them. Um... Anyway, we used to watch Chicago Hope a lot. That's it, I'm sure. Chicago Hope ran from 1994 to 2000. This medical drama focuses, focused on doctors in pri a private hospital who worked daily miracles to save and protect the patients that were in their care. Hmm. In what TV sitcom, an extraterrestrial being lives with the Tanners? Alf. Cheers. Mork and Mindy, Frazier. <laughs> uh, you know, um, Alf cheers Mork and Mindy, Frazier. I think Mork, uh, you know, lived with Mindy. Cheers, that's not, that's that bar, and Frazier's not, it's Alf. Yeah. Alf is an American television sitcom that aired on NBC from September 2286 to March 2490. The title character called Alf, an acronym for Alien Life Form. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know that's why it was called Alf. Okay, which of these TV series premiered in the uh, 20th century is animated? And that shows that right there and what's that that's South Park there but that's not one of the answers <coughs> uh, the Simpsons the X-Files Bones Seinfeld <coughs> they never watched Seinfeld that much either uh, <coughs> it was funny though and we watched watch Bones some and the X-Files but it's the Simpsons yeah, and I've read a bunch of times about Simpsons, so everybody knows all about it. Okay, I got seven right and one wrong. I've got two more to go. All right. Mr. T starred in which of these popular television series? Remember that van? Oh. Now, I did watch this. Uh, the A-Team, Zorro, Knight Rider, The Dukes of Hazzard. Um, hello, Kit. Hello, Michael. <laughs> uh, 
Open up your doors. Sorry, Michael. No can do. <laughs> Man, you remember that, Knight Rider? Uh, Dukes of Hazard. Oh, yeah, we watched that too. Duke and uh, Daisy and Boss Hog. Um, Zorro. I never watched that too much. I did watch it some. Uh, but it's, it's the A-Team. Yes. Mr. T, born Lawrence Thurode, is an American actor. He's known for his roles as B.A. Baracus in the television, 80s television series The A-Team as, as Boxer Clubber Lang in the 1982 film Rocky III. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, he's still around. He does these commercials for what? Renner Center or something like that? Renner Center? Um, I'm glad he's got a little bit of work, you know, because he's older now and stuff. Uh, okay. Ain't right one. Yeah. Uh, in the TV series, Allie McBeal, what was Allie's profession? And I never watched this. Firefighter, lawyer, doctor, detective. Man, man, man. Uh, firefighter, lawyer, uh, doctor, detective. I am going to guess that a lawyer. Hey, I got it right. Allie McBeal is an American legal comedy drama television series originally aired on Fox from September 8, 97 to May 20, 2002. Uh, starred Kalista Flockhart in the title role as a lawyer working in the Boston law firm Cage and Fish. Okay, everybody, I did pretty good. Nine right and one wrong. I could have got that one if I had thought about it a little bit more, maybe. But uh, I enjoyed this one. It was a little easy for me. I know a lot of trivia about you know, TV series and different things like that. I, I just probably watched a lot of TV in the past. I don't watch as much of it now. I'm always watching YouTube. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah. So that's it for today. I hope y'all enjoy trivia time and morning coffee break. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a great day, and we'll see you later on. Bye-bye, everyone.